Hi, I'm Deb Eddy, State Representative from the 48th District, which includes portions of Redmond, Kirkland, Issaquah, Bellevue, and the Point cities of Medina, Clyde Hill, Yarra Point, and Hunts Point. It's an honor to be back in Olympia serving a second term as your State Representative. This summer, Representative Ross Hunter and I met with a couple of different groups of citizens who made, meet, had meetings with us to make sure we understood how important the issues of climate change and energy independence are to you in our district. Certainly, we share those concerns. Currently, we need to see the opportunity that we've been given by this economic crisis. The governor, our new president, and many, many of us in government know that this crisis gives us the opportunity to reassess what we're doing. Especially at the state level, reforming government is really tough. But when an emergency, a crisis such as the one we are in now, arises, things that were just politically impossible a few years ago suddenly become possible. To illustrate the magnitude of the budget challenge, consider this. The current shortfall is $6 billion. I expect it to go higher. There will be those that say, oh, just cut the fat. Yeah, right. Here's the magnitude of the problem. Education, health, the courts and corrections are about 80 to 90 percent of our budget. But if you combine our state's entire higher education budget, that's community colleges and four-year colleges, at $3.8 billion, and the entire Department of Corrections budget, which is $1.9 billion, you approach that $6 billion number. Now, we're not going to do it by just cutting out fat, but we do have an opportunity to relook at some legacy departments, some programs, some regulatory schemes that have outlived their useful, usefulness. They just don't fit the 21st century. And if this legislature has got any collective intelligence at all, we'll be excising those services and those regulations. Whatever political opposition may have existed to shaving some of these programs in the past, I hope will disappear in the face of the need to keep public health clinics open and essential services to the disabled, for instance, glued together. So keep making those phone calls and sending those emails. Even in these tough times, I do appreciate hearing from you. My contact information ought to be appearing at the bottom of the screen. I do want to know what you think. I'm Deb Eddy, and thank you for watching.